Good day and welcome back. My name is Mr. EA King and this is another TTT video. Um, so as you can see here, I've already made a map. Um, got some cameras. Uh, what we're going to do today is show you how to make uh, cameras that work. Um, trader uh, traps and trader buttons. Uh, right now I have a little secret room here. Very simple. Um, actually, I do need to fix one thing. I put the door handle on the other side. Um, same with this side. You just make a door, but you keep the texture the same as the other side. And I'll show you how to put um, actual trader uh, buttons on here so only traders can access it. We got a couple of little poster things on here. And as you can see, we have a monitor here viewing the outside garden. Um, with these bottom ones, I, I tried to display it that okay these buttons are the explosions these buttons are something else so that is for this camera press this one it'll take us to camera two and this one will take us to camera three and actually camera three it's not oh no that's the far one sorry all right so camera three um as you can see there's an explosive barrel there so if we press this button here i'm oh, sorry blows up. That is one uh, thing about this is you need to be looking at the buttons. I gotta get this chair out of the way. Oof. Alright. Go to number two. Got another little barrel here so you see somebody running through here or maybe you know someone fighting in here and yeah, you want to mix it up a little. Boom. The barrel's not there. Another thing blew away. One thing is uh, trying to keep an eye on it while it happens, but uh, let's go to number one. Someone's going to go across the bridge. We've got that little barrel there right beside the bridge. As you're coming across the bridge, bam! As you can see, that uh, garbage can flew away, so there's enough explosive force on there. So, I'll show you how I made all that, as well as I'll show you how do we can put in some other trader traps um, throughout the map. So, let's say, coming over to here, maybe one of these turtles. And a, um, a trader can blow up, and maybe something on uh, what do you, newspapers flew everywhere. Um, maybe this chair can blow up as well. Those two are good. We got an explosive already in here. Um, and I was thinking for the third one, so we got the camera here, and we had the barrel that exploded here. Um, and that will show people live, uh, not in your, um, not if you're playing CSGO, but if you're playing on Gary's Mod, it will show the people. Um, oh, and, uh, this table here, I want to have it explode. So, let's go ahead and quit this. So, um, now that we're back on the map, um, one of the things we wanted to have explode was this thing here. So... All we need to do is double click on it to get into its properties here. And uh, its health we want to leave at zero. But what we want to do is go ahead and... Explosion damage. Um, actually, let's check one of those barrels because those barrels have pretty good explosions. Uh, it's 300 and 500 that we have set for that. So go uh, 300 for the damage and a radius of 500. That should allow it to blow pretty big. Now, in order for a terrorist then to blow this up, or not terrorist, a trader, <laughs> I always get the two back backwards. Uh, so we just click apply on that and um, name it um, T Trap One. Apply and close. Okay, what we need to do is add an entity in. <coughs> So type in TTT, uh, TTT, <laughs> TTT, and uh, you get some different TTT things. But we want a TTT trader button. So click that, and then uh, click on around here somewhere. Um, we want it so they click it uh, from far away. So let's double click it. Um, delay before reset. If the value is negative, it will be single use. Uh, yeah, so we want it to be ne single use. Negative one. 
move on press yes okay I guess that'll be easier just leave that at zero uh, description um blows up chair in library simple enough okay outputs now this is how we get the button to control something so go ahead and click add and output name okay so on pressed when it's pressed okay and only uh, traders will be able to see this button. Um, what's it? T trap one and break. Now what this is going to do is it's going to break the chair. And when the, the chair breaks, the explosion damage happens. So when the button gets pressed, the chair breaks. When the chair breaks, it blows up. Very simple. Click apply. Go to class info here. Um, I thought that got removed because I didn't click apply. Uh, what was up? Chair in library. Okay, and uh, the name of this I don't think really matters. Click apply and close. So now a uh, trader can use this, uh, but let's actually move it to here. So if a trader happens to see someone running into the library, he can come up, press this button, and then the chair will blow up. So very simple, but effective. Sorry, I got some major lag going on here. I don't really know why. Um, so there's a turtle. Double click on him. Name him T Trap Two. Uh, okay. And then we want to go down to here, three hundred and five hundred. And as you can see in the description here, um, when entity breaks, it will create an explosion with the radius. So that's why we have to have it as a break. So apply. And then for that one, uh, I guess we want that to be applied over here. So let's uh, control V and then double click on it and go to the outputs and just change the trader trap to two. Very simple. Like apply and close. Okay, and then for the third uh, trader trap. Uh, we wanted it to be over here, and we wanted it to be this thing here. Or no, we wanted it to be the table, didn't we? And we just want to name this again, T-Trap 3. Put the damage at 300 and 500. Might have been 500 and 300. I don't know. Doesn't really matter. Okay, and then uh, let's put a button on the side of the wall here. Okay. Double click that. Name. Oh, that doesn't matter. Outputs. Uh, oh, we'll need to change the uh, description here. Uh, so, D-Trap 3. Uh, blows up uh, table in pillar room. That works for that. And then I think the other one was over here, yeah. Double click it and blows up turtle on umbrella table. Play. Okay. Close. File. Save. And that allows us to have that done. Okay, and welcome back. Sorry about that. Um, so we gotta go ahead and make uh, doors now, or make these doors not working doors. So just click on both and go into the flags here. And we don't want open uses. Right, let's click on just the one. Right, good. Okay, and give it a name. Uh, key door one. Apply. Okay. I'm going to click on this, double click, sorry, and uh, name T 
door two. Apply. Close. Okay, and then we want to go ahead and add in some trader buttons. So we already got the trader button. So we'll double click one there. Uh, we'll just copy and paste and change this function. So, uh, trader button opens a trader room. Zero, so yeah. Um, name doesn't matter. Parent uh, output. So, add output. Um, on press again, we want the button one when it's pressed. That's what we matter or what we care about. Uh, T door number one or no number two. Sorry. Um. Open. Apply. So when that button's pressed by a trader, it'll open. And then Control C, Control V. Uh. Input, output. Um, actually, it's one bad thing about having two doors, though, because um, from hallway that makes more sense. That way, when they read the different buttons, they'll know, okay, this is going to open this door. Um, trader door number one. Open. Apply. One thing, though, I actually did want to change on this was... If we'll do the, no, the class info, and we want it to be... Uh, one second. We don't want it open very long before it closes again. And then we want to change this to open this trader room uh, from... Pillar room. Apply. And close. And because these buttons are inside, it doesn't matter. Because a trader can press a button from anywhere or from certain radius from the map. Um, forget exactly which number it is. Oh man, I hate this leg. So yeah, these everything you see in this, um, I have shown you in these last few tutorials how to make. These domes are just displacements, um, because you'll never be on top, you'll never see them, um, but from down below you get a nice dome feel, which is what I wanted. Um, just a bunch of props, again the river, just a displacement, uh, this arc, I never showed you how to do arcs, um, or arches, sorry. Um, but it's quite simple to figure out, you just play around with the numbers when you go in to build a block, and uh, yeah, I might do a tutorial later if you guys want on how to build a bridge, but it's pretty simple. Uh, same with the... Woo, where we go? All this leg. Uh, this uh, thing here, this is just a bunch of cylinders, just with different size, and then stacked on top of one another. Same with the pillars. Um, cylinders with different amount of size, like this one I think has 22 sides, and that one has like 6, and I think that one up there has 8. Um, carpets are just blocks again, just one tall, very simple. Um, cameras now. Cameras are something I saw in a Yogscast video, um, like a security camera when someone walked into a store, the TV was showing, um, them move around, so I wanted to check into that, so I looked into it. This is just a camera entity prop, it doesn't really matter. This is what matters here. It's a point camera. You get that from the uh, entity here tool. Um, all you do is you name it, and then you use the point, or you click here, and then you point at. So let's just go in. Well, I don't know about this with this leg. I'll be able to do this. Probably not. Um, huh. Yeah, so you would just uh, double click on it. And then click point at, and then you tell it where to point at. Actually, that didn't mess it up too much. And then that draws like a little area, or sorry, line showing where it's going to be showing to. Uh, the field of view, I like to increase it a little bit just to make it a easier to see. As well as the camera does not rate up against it to give it a zoomed in look. 
Um, again, flags and outputs and inputs, you don't need to do anything for that. Now, how do I get it to change between camera to camera? You're probably wondering. Now, these different buttons here or first off this monitor it's a function monitor as well as it has a texture of uh, the TV monitor 1A from the dev um, some of these textures and that or props might be Half-Life 2 props um, so you'll need Half-Life 2 as well as CSGO to play this map or maybe to do this function however I find it a really cool function and that's why I want to tell you how to do it um, so you got this monitor, we call the monitor 1, it doesn't need any input or outputs. Inputs are automatically going to be done by these buttons here, or sorry, these buttons. These are the explosion ones. So if we double click on it, we have them named, um, I don't think that's that, or actually, oops. yeah, it's actually not na needed as naming them. Um, for buttons to go in and they come back out, that's what the lip is. Um, as well as how long to stay before reset and stuff. Um, outputs. So this is what gets it to actually change the camera. So on pressed, change the monitor, and then because the monitor, if we go to the class info, uh, camera name is camera one. That's why we have it set to originally. Um, but then the button output, we have it. The options here. And one of the options is set camera, so set camera to camera one. If you press this button, set camera to camera two, and then camera three. Very, very simple. It's not like you need to know complicated uh, programming in order to get that to work. And same with these ones. Um, I have them just, okay, unpressed, barrel one, break it, and I have the same things that we applied to those other props, you know. 300 and 500 uh, damage and radius and then zero health. If you have anything more for health then anyone could just blow it up. And I do have some explosive barrels around the map I believe. We have one over here. Um, oh, huh. not that one. Click the bush. Want a bush? A barrel. Okay. Um, no, that's the bush again. Stupid bloody bush. There we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> Health is 20. So, um, I believe it's like two shots and then I'll blow up one shot depending on what gun you're using in that. So, um, that's everything for that. Um, it'll all be working. Uh, next video I'll show you how to upload the map and I'll put a link on how to download it so uh, you guys can check it out and let me know what you think. Um, thank you all for watching. My name is Mr. Yay King and uh, have yourselves a wonderful day. Bye.